As I had said earlier, if there is a big lie that has been given in the last one year, that it should actually be put in the Guinness Book of World Record, that's the biggest lie of the year, is being told that the people of this region are shareholders in this government. People of this region cannot be shareholders in this government, and the money that was allocated to their projects by the previous administration has been taken away and redirected to other projects elsewhere, as if they are children of a lesser God and they do not deserve those projects. Also, money men, that was, we have seen issues of water, um, our, our roads that were ongoing and money had already been allocated is no longer there. Those roads are not, the continuation, the, 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 the construction has halted. So we are asking, where is our money and why is it being taken elsewhere if indeed we are shareholders? And when our MPs try to talk about it and to voice our concerns, they are, they are given a phone call and they are told do not talk about that matter. When our ministers try to address these issues within ministers from this region, when they try to address that, those issues uh, from within their dockets, they are wanangolewa, wanapeleko wizarazingine, ndiyo waache kuongea hiyo maneno. Na ndiyo, ndiyo waogope, na iwe onyo kuwa na kwa wengine, mambo ya, Maun, ya Mount Kenya, wasiongele. We are saying that is not our house. We have been taking comfort in someone else's house and saying we belong there. We have to build our own house where we can voice our concerns, where we will not be intimidated, where we will not be told that someone is holding a sword, ready to deal with us if we start asking questions. So I am requesting, I'm asking our people from this region so that our leaders in parliament can have a voice. We need to build our own house called Jubilee. Yes. Where, if they, where if they are chased away from the other side or they are intimidated, they will have a place to call home. Oh. Jubilee is our liberation party. That is the party that is going to liberate us from this oppression. We cannot be staying in the oppressor's house and saying here in Yumbaya to Tukona to corner shareholding. Yes. From now moving on, we have to start a new movement where we go build our party jubilee and then from there start raising our voices, start challenging our, our, our MPs, our ministers to talk without, without, without fearing. We are not, I've said, we are not children of a lesser God. We are not to be intimidated. We have every right to ask for what belongs to us, for our resources, because we also pay taxes. But for us to do this, we must be in a place where we will not be intimidated. And that place is called Jubilee. Jubilee Party, and that's why no matter how much they are trying to fight our party, we are going to win that battle in court, we are going to take our party back, and we are going to fight for this region and for our country. Because when we are in Jubilee, we, Jubilee will be able to align with people of like, with like-minded people, ODM and, and the others, and, and WIPA, and be able to not only to fight for ourselves, but to fight for the region. Kikuyu's leaders have always been known to fight against oppression from the Mau Mau days to the days of second liberation. But what has happened now? We have become very timid. If our forefathers came now, they'd, they'd be very shocked that we are the people who just sit down and, you know, and get, you know, we are just the people who just hold back and allow the government to do whatever it wants, even if it's oppressing us. We must, we must, rise, to who, we must rise to become the people we are. We are, very, we are very strong communities. And if we work with other strong communities, we will be able to liberate not only our region, but this country. What Thank you very much. Yes? The number two in the government. Yeah. The number two in, in government is the one who is telling us that we are shareholders in that, that government, knowing that he's lying. If he is a, share, if he is a shareholder himself, if Gadika Shagua is a shareholder in government, and whoever else feels he's a shareholder because they, are, they, 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 they have government appointments, that does not represent the rest of us. That is Rigathi Gashagwa and his office. He does not represent Mount Kenya because he never talks about Mount Kenya. People have been dying in Lamu, Kikuyu. Yeah. People, are being, people are being harassed in Deldoret. Yeah. He, de he, never, he does not talk. I have not him heard him talk about uh, Lamu. I have not talk, heard him talk about uh, Nyamakema traders. But he's telling us we are shareholders. Ion kitiyake ye mwenyewe. Haituhusu. Yeye haituhusu. So that is his position. As Rigathi Gashagwa, it does not belong to Mount Kenya or to the Kikuyu community. Thank you very much. Yes. 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 How are you going to restructure Jubilee? Are you going to restructure? No, we are in a Zimio coalition to stay. That is our coalition, and that is why we are going to work with other leaders. 
and other communities to build a very strong movement. So we are staying in Azimio, we are fighting from there, and we are very united. These stories you are hearing, they are sponsored stories. To say that uh, Azimio is divided, I don't know who is here, no, 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 Azimio is together. And we are going to fight this battle together. And about restructuring of Jubilee, the most important thing right now for Jubilee is to, to start from the grassroots, building up. We cannot just be a party that talks from up there, but Mashinani Hatuna Watu. So, as you, you've been seeing our Secretary General, Kioni, moving from one county to another, uh, you know, just trying to bring people together at the grassroots level. We are having, uh, you know, we are, we, are, we are having leaders, you know, young leaders, appointing young leaders to lead Jubilee in different counties. You saw him and, and our party chairman, uh, David Muraza in Lamu, also defending our people. So we are building this party. We are restructuring, but from bottom, from, from the bottom as we build to a very high, to a very strong, to a very strong... Uh, yeah, leadership at the top. Thank you very much. In the new onslaught, uh, what role are we likely to see the former president play? Let him pass. Ah, yagun machacha, yagun machacha sana.